Big star, Joy McCarthy, <laughs> our favorite naturopath is here. And we are, no, I called you a naturopath. That's holistic, okay, Nutri holistic nutritionist. nutritionist. I, is that, a, just I gave you a, like a, a different designation. Food focus, yes, that's okay. Food focus. It's all good. And we are talking about how to boost your immune system, especially yes. as we're entering flu season. Yes, yeah, so many people are getting yeah. sick right now. Colds and flus yes. are everywhere, as evidenced by. I was at the, the mall on the weekend, everyone sneezing oh, and sniffling, goodness. and I'm, I you know, washing my hands. So yeah, let's first start talking about factors that lower your immune yep. system, because I think being aware of that's really important. The first one is lack of adequate sleep. Mm -hmm. Check. Yeah, and studies okay. show that those who get six hours or, or less of sleep yeah. and also shift work workers, mm -hmm. their immune system function is lowered. Yeah. Certain cells, like your natural killer cells, are lowered when you don't get enough sleep, so you're more prone to infection. That's why our back room, by the way, is like a petri dish for, <laughs> for bacteria like... Bacteria and Bacteria, virus. exactly. So that's why I brought Pascal Flair, because yeah. sleep is so important, and it's a passion flower extract, mm -hmm. and this herb is amazing at helping you get into a deep, restful sleep. So a great solution there. I will be taking that home. Okay. And then I also want to talk about sugar, uh -huh. especially because it was just Halloween and like every office now you see when you walk in the front reception area. It's the leftover area. Halloween Yeah, candy. all the leftover yeah. Halloween candy. Avoid, first of all. Yeah. But sugar feeds the, bac the bad bacteria, mm -hmm. the yeast, the fungi in your gut. Mm -hmm. 70 to 80% of your immune system lives within your gut. So sugar feeds the bad stuff and also depletes you of the very nutrients you need for a strong I'm immune system. I'm feeling so guilty <laughs> as you talk, okay? Yeah, so ditch the sugar. Ditch the sugar. It's, it's good Halloween reason. is over and Thanksgiving is over. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Alcohol, unfortunately, is another immune system but suppressant. This helps you sleep. This helps you sleep. It can help you sleep, but then it can disrupt um, your blood sugar balance. That's okay. why a lot of people fall asleep initially, but then they'll wake up in the night because their blood sugar is dipping too low. But moderate drinking is okay. Like okay. one to two glasses of wine a couple times a week can yeah. actually boost your immune system because the antioxidants. But the problem is what a lot of people do is they have a big night out. Moderation and, yeah, is key. And they have four to five drinks and that really suppresses the immune system. So half Terrible. a glass of wine, is that, is that yeah, okay? Yeah, totally. Half a glass or, of yeah, wine. Or one to two glasses of wine a couple times a week, but then you know, know your own tolerance because yeah. everyone's different. And then of course stress. Stress mm -hmm. lowers our immune system's yeah. fighting ability. Uh, we know, you know, when we're adrenaline keeps us going. Like if we have yeah. a crisis going on, and for a week we, you know, our adrenaline's going, mm -hmm. we don't get sick, and then as soon as the stimulus is gone, yes. we relax, we get sick. So stress is awful. Yes. So let's talk about what boosts our immune system. I'm taking all of this home. <laughs> I was asking Joy, can you please come to live with me? Because you know, I, new baby, yeah, back you've to got work. a lot going on. I mean, a lot of people are sort of in the same boat, juggling all of those things. Yeah, it's so true. So what do they need in their toolbox? Okay, so first of all is vitamin D. Mm -hmm. We've heard this drilled in our head so many times, yeah. but yet we're not listening because still 40 to 70 percent of Canadians are deficient in vitamin D. Okay. And vitamin D helps your body identify bacteria and yeast and mm. so sorry bacteria and viruses so it oh. really helps keep your immune system strong mm. and so food sources are there's not as a large variety of food sources of vitamin D unfortunately but mm. I have brought salmon to show sardines are another source mushrooms uh, but I do recommend supplement with vitamin D yeah. really important for human immune system and also um, you know helps prevent things like seasonal affective disorder mm. winter blues yes. I noticed a huge difference in my own health actually when I started supplementing with vitamin D years ago you feel uh, like you're a nicer person right yeah, yeah you <laughs> really do right it helps you have a brighter outlook Look, and yeah. Canadians need their vitamin D. Do you take it with food? Do you take it in the morning, at night? Does it matter? Yeah, so with vitamin D, I re do recommend take it with food uh, okay. for best absorption. But what I always say to people is, you know what, take it when you're going to remember it. So okay. oftentimes as morning with breakfast. Yes. Uh, my next point is healthy mm. bacteria because we know the importance of good bacteria in the gut and yeah. we already talked about your immune system basically lives mm. in your gut. So you want to make sure that you feed the good guys. Okay. And so that's why I have a variety of different fermented foods. For example, mm. you can now get fermented protein powder. Yeah. So fermented foods help to introduce healthy bacteria into the gut mm -hmm. and uh, they also help to feed the good bacteria. Things like kombucha. I'm sure you've had kombucha I, I've before. had kombucha because you you're such a trendsetter when it comes to these things because you mention it and then all of a sudden I see it in stores it's everywhere. It's delicious. So I what is it? Brand. What is so it's kombucha? fermented tea. So okay. it's got like good bacteria, enzymes, it's great for digestion. So I would, and it's good too, if you're trying to transition someone who yeah. drinks pop full of sugar 
onto something healthier. Kombucha is a great option because it's fizzy and effervescent. And you sort of get a bit of a buzz. Yeah, you totally do. Why? Is, yeah. it's, there's a little it's bit of alcohol? Just be, uh, well, not enough that it would have to be like, you know, sold at the LCBO. Okay. Uh, but it is a fermented beverage. And a lot of people are just so nutrient deficient that when mm. they put in something that like <laughs> feeds their gut goodness. What is this? Yeah, it's so, like when people start taking yeah. a multivitamin. And then, of course, kimchi you're probably yeah. familiar with. And then we have, you know, BioK and also, uh, I love sheep's milk yogurt. So delicious, mm -hmm. a good source of, you know, naturally occurring uh, healthy bacteria. Then vitamin C. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing we want to remember, you know, eat fruits and vegetables yes, at every yes. meal and snack. Eat brightly colored uh, fruits and vegetables because vitamin C helps to stimulate your white mm -hmm. blood cells infection fighting ability. So eat a rainbow. A simple way to remember is lunch and dinner, half of your plate should be mm -hmm. vegetables, snacks, have fruits and vegetables, and you will definitely get five to six servings. And very quickly, protein. Yes, you protein can't forget fro makes, protein. Protein really does fight infection because it helps to make antibodies. And studies show that when people lack adequate protein, yeah. their immune system function is not going to work as efficiently. So we have things like sprouts. For the vegetarians, mm -hmm. such a, a live whole food full of B vitamins too. Eggs are a great source, pumpkin seeds. And my final point we can't not say is happiness. Yeah. Happiness is a nutrient for great yeah. health. And studies Good show, attitude. yeah, Absolutely. psychological stress really does hamper our immune system. So being happy, and that's why I talk about that in my book, Joyous Health. You know, focus on, on the good things in your life. You know, listen to music. Yes. It's a mineral. It helps you feel happy. So many every, things. I could go Every on. time Joy comes here, I always think, i got to change my life. Joy McCarthy, holistic nutritionist, all great tips you can find on her website, joyoushealth.ca. Yeah. Thanks for Thank stopping you. by. Thanks.